for meeting with me with Fashion Auto, and I'm gonna dive right into X is a loser. He is. <laughs> Aren't, you know, yeah. Well, actually, mine are not. They're probably watching, so I have to be nice about that. But uh, yeah, X is a loser. That the song, <laughs> the video. I mean, I can't get enough of it. Talk about <laughs> it. Talk about it. Okay. Um, well, it's definitely a different kind of vibe than what I normally would go for, but it's just like a fun. It's just more about fun. It's not like honestly, most of my exes like whatever happened and whatever. Is, like, <laughs> I don't just like hate any of them for sure. So I don't want any of them to think it is about it. It's just more like a fun song, and uh, I kind of hope that I. Okay, so most of my songs, I try to make something of a message to have people hold on to it. So right. if if anything from that song, I just kind of want guys or girls or whoever to be able to just kind of like. Get that rage out, yeah. you know. If that helps, and yeah. they don't well, key any cars, then I'm happy. I love. Well, I mean, I love the vibe of the video. So, is this a new direction that you're going? I mean, you recently, you know, went from MK Ultra to Leah Culver is your birth name. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> so, I mean, is this part of this whole new sort of renaissance, perhaps? Um, I think that it was all a, okay. Well. The process of becoming just myself was pretty natural to me because I, as I was growing more musically, I felt that MK Ultra wasn't going to fit really what I was going to do and what I want to do. And also MK Ultra and what it stands for is not very positive and I'm trying to send out a positive message. Uh, if, if people don't, some people don't know what MK Ultra is and it's Google Project MK Ultra and that's what I'm stepping away from. Um, but it was a good dubstep name and that's what I came out as, you know. Um, and as far as the video and the song and everything, um, and going in that direction, I'd say probably not that far to that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm not quite there, yeah. there but like um, what I'm going for is definitely more vocal, um, more anthemic and yeah. belty. And I'm always going to be a headbanger, crowd surfing girl, so I, I don't think I could go too far. Yeah. Well, you've that got, other way. I mean, you've got quite the following. I mean, I'm following you on Facebook, on Instagram. I mean, you've got a very loyal base that I think are, they're just going to follow along with you. I think so. It's, I hope you it's hope It's kind of right? like transferred over, it seems like, pretty easy. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, I appreciate them as much as like, I feel like they support me. I want to support them too. And that's why I want to give out good music that has a good message for them. You know, it's not about us artists. And, about them and what you're sending out. Well, I mean, I know we're just meeting. I'm a little bit older than you, and I can tell you, I can read you right here, and you've got great energy. You're like sunshine. Oh, so you should have that positive message attached <laughs> with your name, Leah Culver. Now, let me ask you something else. Um, in the music industry, and especially in, in the whole you know, EDM scene, artists are always collaborating, working together. And I know you've worked with, with some artists. I'm sure you've got some some plans, maybe some you can talk about, yeah. maybe some you cannot, but I'm sure you've got some really great stuff about to happen. Yeah, I've, um, I'll just say what I've been working on with no promises of when or what will come out, but um, I've been working on a song with uh, Borgor, uh, oh. and he's great. He's, he's actually really talented and a really cool person. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with that. I never, I, I've learned with doing features and like yeah. things like that that it's like, just try well, but it. He's see here what this happens. weekend, I'd imagine. Oh, so yeah. you should, I mean, maybe him. he'll bring you on stage with him. That would be so tight. That would be, that would be. Yeah, he's a great guy and I really appreciate his like belie believing in me. And like he says he sees it. And most of the people that I've worked with say that they kind of see something and I wanna push whatever they see, you know. Um, I've, I've worked with Adventure Club. They're going to be here this Love weekend. Them. Yes, as well. they are. Such good people. So like so nice, and they're they're Canadian. So like I just feel like maybe that's where it comes from. But they're they're awesome. And then um, I've done some vocals for Marshmallow. I think we're doing a remix of a Galantis song. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so that was fun. And then um, I've done some stuff with Prince Fox and um, Chainsmokers. We've kind of gone back and forth with the chain smokers on a few ideas. I'm not, I, at this point, I'm just happy to sing and write and see what happens with things. Because, you know, people are busy. Oh, yeah. And yeah, labels but, are crazy. But you know, oh, labels are crazy. I love your energy on stage. I love the vibe you send. And of course, I love your look from your hair to the ink to your fashion <laughs> sense. I mean, it's, 
I mean, it's great. I mean, and I don't know if maybe as a female you find a little bit more pressure that women have to look a certain way. I don't want to get too political with any of that. Sure, I understand. But um, I sometimes I just really don't care, and sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to put eyeliner on, you know. Uh -huh. um, I've never been a super girly girl. Like I grew yeah. up with all brothers, and uh -huh. um, I kind of grew into understanding makeup and stuff. But it's it's never on the top of my mind to like have to look great or anything I just uh, do my Good. regular thing like this is three day old hair and <laughs> I didn't brush it today it's just things like that it's like right. I don't know but your liquid cat eye eyeliner is perfect thank you <laughs> and that's, that's and that's all that matters took thank like you 12 years to figure out <laughs> yeah well you know I once had a drag queen friend tell me the way to do it is oh. just like whoosh, just one clean confidence. swipe that's it confidence it and a clean swipe it can smell your fear, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, you get real close to the mirror, and it's like, don't. Yeah. Don't even try. It's like a mean it. dog that'll bite you. It'll smell your fear. That's yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> so you can, you got to be fearless with fashion, and you are. You look, you look fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. I well, appreciate it. Absolutely. Where are you from? Where do you live? Here in Atlanta? I'm from, born and raised in Atlanta, and it's, I don't care where I live. I, this will be home to me forever. Um, okay. But I've, I've spent a good time in New York and in LA. Right now I'm living in LA. I'm not sure what I want next, but I think it's definitely either Atlanta or New York. I don't yeah. know how long I'll be in LA. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in Atlanta in for almost 20 years. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I yeah. couldn't figure out, um, yeah. when I went to LA, I was like, something's missing, and it was trees. I came back <laughs> to Atlanta, and I was like, wow, it's so lush. Right. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, I hear you. I've been here 20 years, and I love it. I've seen it grow and evolve, so, yeah. Well, I don't want to keep you but you've been lovely. Thank you so much. I'm glad that Mike uh, introduced you yeah, to us. Yeah, thank you so much.